Hi, so today we will be going over image view and camera. How to use image views and camera. So let's make a new project. Uh, let's put it over here. Single view application, uh, camera. So we're gonna uh, learn how to use a camera and then have an image view and have animations. So for animations, uh, there is a swivel object called an image view. Let's make it a small screen, four inches. Uh, we have an image view, and in this image view, we're gonna have two buttons then. Button one. So we have two buttons, okay. And then this is the image view. Now it's connected to our storyboard. Storyboard we have. I believe we need only one button. Action. Image have action. And this is my image view. IMG view. Okay. And now I'm gonna import two pictures over here. So just from download, just have two pictures. IMG finish. Then I'm gonna have one more picture. Oh, that is my picture. Okay. So I'm gonna finish. Okay. So basically, so far, uh, like in the video load. So basically, so for imaging, uh, for uh, we might do the image view, and then over here you can see like it has this NS array of animated images and then it has the animation duration animation stuff so first you have to make an NS array star we instantiate it array with objects uh, array with objects so we say uh, now we have to uh, also make it a picture variable so we have to make it of type ui image star img1 comma img2 so img1 and in this one you store an email by saying instantiate the ui image again image image named because it's already in the bundle so you just need to give the name and it's img.jpg then you close it and the image to equals to ui image image named And on this one we added now we have to say start animating. That's all we have to do. Okay, we have to do it in different So, so now this should start the animation. You also need to add the images and you also need to set the duration. So, set the uh, images and which takes in an array and then also uh, set the duration. So, when I set the duration, uh, you will see this. so hence our animation is working now let's go, go back to your slides to add buttons to add camera okay 
so we did this part so the main class we're going to be using is UI image picker controller and for that you need to import mobile services so import this framework mobile code services dot framework this identifies different classes and frameworks you need to use for the camera so you go to hash import Now once you hit the button, the main EY image picker controller This is the main class Let's say UI PC Then you instantiate this class as usual So you say uh, UI PC or not UI PC UI image picker controller controller then you go inside this class and then you can see the properties so you can check for the source type so we can check for if PC is source let's again go back uh, what is the method a source type error. so this one is this it's a it's a class method so source type available and then you have to check for the camera UI image picker controller type camera then perform these actions camera is Okay, else and this log camera is not there. Okay, and then you have to self present the view controller. So you say, say UI PC completion mail. And in this one, let's look at some more properties. So we did this one where we're checking the source available. Available media tag, you don't need it for camera. You can check your camera device, flash, the camera modes. You can also check for then you have to set the set a delegate. We didn't set the delegate, so let's set the delegate UIPC dot check all media type allow editing allow image then for videos you have couple options show camera controls camera mode then you have delegate methods so once you present uh, once you present the controller then you're gonna be calling this delegate image what is a delegate method image picker controller you say image So this is the method that will be called once you select an image. So then over here you just say self dismiss view controller animated yes completion nil. So let's run our code and then check. So camera is not there so it went to our else loop it's gonna access the photos then once you ch once you click the photo then you come over here and then you simply just remove it 
so it's done okay now let's remove that this animation part okay and now if I want to select the if I want to select that the picture is selected should be on the image view so I'm gonna select the image view uh, set image set image so I'm gonna say now the image is over here info let me just show you again once I select the picture so inside my info this is the image controller original image in my value for key this image this is the media type this is the URL so I can just say and with images you do not need a URL so you can just say UI image <coughs> yeah. info object for key UI image because okay so now this should solve the problem let's run our code again now if we select it so this should solve our problem okay so it works if I again do it okay now let's try it using a cell phone so let me connect my cell phone to my stop so now in a cell phone since the camera is there it should then open a camera picker okay device because I want to access the camera and let me show you uh. so it's working on the phone right now So it has accessed my phone pictures, but I want to access the camera, and the camera should be working somehow. Let's see. But this is my first look at the picture is there. Okay, so when the camera is present, I also have to select the uh, select the source type in this one. So you say UI PC uh, set source type. So you go to the UI image picket controller. So you can a source type available this one controller source type UI PC. Oh, it is source type. Okay. Because if we don't have a source type, so it accesses your camera. So as soon as I started my application, I was able to access the camera. So now when I click a picture, 
I should be able to show it. so see it works now if I want to store this image in my gallery so there is a method inside the image picker controller called as why not your video at bottom I don't know this one image right to saved photos album you can also call this one so this one takes in the image which is my this let's make make it nil Now this will store the picture inside your camera as well. So this is my cell phone and I'm gonna open the camera, click a picture, save use photos and now it has already been saved. So I'm gonna open my photos and then so see the camera the picture is right there. So the picture is right there. So guys today we learned how to use an image view, how to do animations, how to use camera to access the pictures or how to open a open a photos album. So guys if you if you if you like my video uh, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos.